What I want to talk about today is something that I call first show you can and then ask. And the reason I titled my talk that is because I've found that a lot of the time people say that they're very passionate about something and they'll come to you and say, I'm really, really passionate about singing, right? Or playing the guitar, but they're doing nothing about actually learning to play the guitar. So you need to show that you can do something before you can actually do it. So um, the interesting thing though for me is that my mother really began to, she really began to believe in me. And I think it's very important that like one of the most important things that anyone can do for you is to believe in you. And this is long before you can even believe in yourself. And I do hear when they said you've got to believe in yourself. So it's important for us to find people we should believe in in order to build them up. Because I think mo most of us were in this, in this room simply because someone took a chance on us and believed in us. And maybe sometimes we don't remember it and we think that we are the ones who made it on our own, but you actually didn't make it on your own. It's impossible to make it on your own. You need that person to believe in you. And throughout my career, I've had quite a lot of people who have really believed in me. And uh, when I was at Coca-Cola, there was a guy uh, called Jonathan Mildenhall, who is now the global chief marketing officer for, um, for there's a small company you might have heard of called Airbnb. Uh, so, so this guy really took a chance on me when I was at Coca-Cola, for example. And obviously, my previous uh, local boss as well at Coca-Cola, Sharon Keith, absolutely amazing belief in me. And I was able to do great things because they took a chance and believed in me. And I think that um, really, my mother believed in me by actually forcing me to start reading. She really forced me to start reading. And I used to hate it initially. And then she made me read these books, and I love reading books. And I read, and I read, I read every single book in the library, and it opened this world on a facade that I didn't know existed. So, and I think for me, like where you come from really prepares you for the world. And it's very important that some of these lessons are things that you only realize and learn much later on in life. And so this is why I say don't be afraid of bringing your work experience where you come from. For example, for me, if I'm hiring anybody, I will not hire someone who's exactly like me, who thinks exactly like me, because how is that going to challenge me or make the work that I do any better? 